From across the United States, citizens uh, and friends of this ministry have sent me documentation proving that something horrible is amiss uh, and, and is about today and that concentration camps are a reality. From North Carolina, I received these photos from friends of the ministry. I'm going to go over each one very carefully. This, uh, this couple told me that they, uh, as they were driving in the small town of Pine Bluff, North Carolina, they came upon sitting on, you know, uh, nearby, there on the railroad tracks, this huge double-decker, uh, th these train cars. And they were curious about them. And they, they went back home and got their camera and came back. There were no guards around to stop them from uh, uh, investigating, so they decided to do a little bit of a spy uh, activity there. Uh, this shows you how very large this railroad car is. You can see the, the woman standing beside it. Notice these are like no railroad cars I've ever seen. Now she told me, and here again, by the way, is the, the end of one of just one of these cars. You can again see how very huge they are. Again, they're like double deckers. And then she said, Brother Tex, she says, please pay attention very carefully to picture uh, number four. That's this picture here. We managed to take a picture through a crack of the inside of the railway car. Notice the chains. They appear to look like shackles. I want you also, my friends, to see what appear to be seats or benches on either side. My friends, if this was a cattle <laughs> vehicle, cattle don't need padded benches, do they? This looks like this is going to transport human beings. She said also, the cars are well dented. They have lots of air holes. 